This is I'm Cycling. This video, we are looking at testing correlation. So to show how correlated two variables are, you can use the population correlation coefficient. And Pearson's product moment coefficient, which is the PMCC, is a statistic that estimates the population correlation coefficient. Now, when the PMCC is further away from zero than the critical value, you reject the null hypothesis, which means that you conclude there is correlation. So if you are setting up a hypothesis test, what you have is that H0 is always going to be that rho, which looks a bit like a P there, is going to be equal to zero. In other words, there is no correlation. Then H1, your alternative hypothesis, you're saying that rho is not equal to zero. This can also take other forms. So that's one form, that'd be a two-tailed test. You can also say that rho is more than zero or rho is less than zero, depending on if you're saying if it's a positive or negative correlation. You can also take the p-value and say when the p-value is greater than the significance level, that's when you accept the null hypothesis, which means that you're saying that there is no correlation. So the question here says that economists study the relationship between levels of taxation and the amount individuals give to charity to see if there's any correlation. So the hypotheses, which are H0 is equal to rho is equal to zero, as it always is. And in this one, H1 is that rho is just not zero. So in other words, there is any sort of correlation. It's not specifying whether it's positive or negative. Now, these are being considered at the 5% significance level. So it says 24 countries are measured and the PMCC is found to be minus uh, 0.1601, whereas the critical value is minus 0.4044. State with reason whether H0 is accepted or rejected and determine your conclusion in context. So what we're going to say is we're looking at this PMCC. PMCC is equal to minus 0.1601 and then the critical value say cv that is equal to minus 0.4044 so those are the two things we're comparing and if we look at this it says when the pmcc is further away from zero than the critical value you reject the null hypothesis so in this case it is not further away from zero. The, um, the critical value is actually further away than zero um, than PMCC. So what you would conclude therefore, if you're writing it, is you would say that as the critical, as the critical value is, um, is further away from zero, uh, than the PMCC, you would conclude that uh, you, this time, you're going to accept the null hypothesis. Now that is because of this fact that as it says, when the PMCC is further away from zero than the critical value, you reject it. So this is the other way around, so you're going to accept it. This means that there is no correlation between um, levels of taxation and uh, amounts given to charity. So that's this final thing is is basically just about the uh, con conclusion in context at the end. So it says about this is when it's conclusion in context at the end, that is what we're doing there. And that's why we're saying this means that there is no correlation between levels of taxation and amounts given to charity. So the next question we have says that education specialists want to find out if there is any correlation between the geographical location of the school and the likelihood that a student attending the school will get at least one A at A level. So a random sample of 46 schools is taken um, and this is the hypothesis test is the null hypothesis is rho is equal to zero so that means no correlation and then H1 the alternative hypothesis is that rho is just not equal to zero so it's a two-tailed test and this is at the 5% significance level.
So here we have the PMCC is 0.1319, which is a p-value of 0.382. Now in this test, what we're going to do is we're going to compare the p-value to the significance level. So we have a p-value here, and that p-value is equal to 0.382. Now our significance level, as part of a two-tailed test, what we're going to have is that is going to be equal to 0.025. So therefore, what we can conclude is 0.382 is greater than 0.025. And if you remember back to the last slide, when the p-value is greater than the significance level, you accept H0. So therefore, when we're going to determine this conclusion in context, you say you would reject, accept H0 because um, the p-value is greater than the uh, significance level. So therefore this means, and this is the part where we're going to, uh, in context, uh, that there is no correlation between the geographical location of a school and the likelihood of um, a student receiving a student receiving at least one A. So that is our final answer where we're going to use it in context. So these next couple of questions, we're actually going to have to work out the number for the critical value in order to be able to, care, uh, to compare it to the PMCC. So this one says that the temperature and the number of hours of sunshine on 12 days is recorded. The PMCC is calculated to be R is equal to 0.636. So therefore stating your hypothesis clearly at the 1% significance level, whether there is a positive correlation between temperature and hours of sunshine. Therefore, in order to do this, we're going to be looking at this 1% significance level. And this 1% significance level is going to be this one round here. That is 1%. So if we were to look at it, that one's 10%, that one's 5%, that one's 2.5%, and that one's 0.05%. Uh, um, so therefore, we also have to look at the number of days. So in this case, we've got 12 days and that. And then we draw across, we can draw across both of them. So what we're going to get is they're going to meet that point there, which means that our value is going to be this one here, the one that we meet by just going across the line. So therefore, the critical value is going to be equal to 0 0.5, 0 0.6581. It says there. So therefore, now we need to look at then it compared to the PMCC. And as we can see, uh, the critical value is further away from zero. And we'll write this down as, so we say as the critical value is further away from zero, than the PMCC, uh, you would accept the null hypothesis. Uh, so that means uh, there is no correlation between the temperature and numbers, number of hours of sunshine uh, and that would be our our final answer for that particular question 
So our final question says that Amy wants to find out if there is a correlation between daily maximum relative humidity and daily mean pressure. So first of all, it says, suggest a suitable no and alternative hypothesis for a two-tailed test. So that means that what we're going to have is going to be, if we put 1A, we're going to have H0, that's where rho is always going to be equal to zero, saying there's no correlation. And then H1, it says a two-tailed test, that just means that rho is not equal to zero. And that is our suitable hypothesis. Then in B, it says that Amy takes a sample of 14 days. Uh, so if you're looking on this, we've got 14 here. Um, and finds a product moment co uh, correlation coefficient of minus 0.55. Carry out the hypothesis test at a 5% significant level. So in order to do this, what we're actually going to be doing is taking it from the 0 0.025 and that is because it is a two-tailed test. Then we're going across um, and we're going to find it as this one here. Therefore, our critical value is equal to 0.5324. So now we have our critical value. We also have our PMCC, which is equal to minus 0.55. So therefore, what we're going to conclude in this one is that because the PMCC is further away from zero than the critical value, that means that you would reject the null hypothesis. Therefore, there is correlation between daily uh, maximum relative humidity um, and then daily mean pressure as well. So this is an example where you're saying there is correlation, and that's because the PMCC is further away from zero than the critical value. Uh, obviously, we've got 0 0.55, whereas this is just 0 0.5324. So that is a video all about testing correlation. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.